and welcome to my channel. I want to talk to you about uh, something that I have been struggling with in the past three weeks um, and that is labyrinthitis. Labyrinthitis is um, the inflammation of the inner ear. Um, I can vaguely smile about it now but three weeks ago I was not smiling. Um, in fact, uh, three weeks ago I was hardly able to uh, sit up, stand up, um, or do anything. Um, so labyrinthitis is a horrible, horrible virus. Um, it gives you vertigo and um, for some people it gives them hearing loss it didn't do that for me uh, it also makes you feel very nauseous uh, so that you can't um, you know you feel sick all the time you can't you get very dizzy the world spins so you're not able to drive um, and you have constant ringing in your ears so I got this three weeks ago. I have been off work for three weeks, which I have been gutted about because it's the right at the end of my term and I wanted to be at work to spend the last couple of weeks with the children at school and to do lots of our leaving do's and shows and things, but unfortunately I haven't been able to. So it's been a bit rubbish. But anyway, I finally feel like I might be coming out the end of the other side. Um, small steps, small steps in me getting over it, small steps in the ones that I am able to take. But they are small steps. Anyway, let me tell you about me and labyrinthitis and how I've suffered from it. So. Um, I started off with blurred vision so I was driving to school it was I suddenly thought oh lord my eyesight has deteriorated rapidly um, I must go to the opticians very quickly um, middle-aged is taking a final grip on my eyesight and my body um, and I will have to forever wear glasses um, and going by my eyesight pretty strong ones too but when I got to the other end of my car journey where I probably I say car journey I probably shouldn't have driven but I didn't expect it until I got in the car and thankfully the car journey was a short one and I kept thinking oh my eyesight must surely improve um, but I got out of the car and then the world started to spin it was uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, I had not had a bottle of Prosecco, um, I had not, um, you know, had a late night, I hadn't been out the night before partying, none of those things. But the worlds began to spin, I started to feel like I was going to fall over, um, and... Uh, well, I can't tell you, it just, it's the most frightening and horrible thing in the world to feel like that. And so I did manage to get into work. I even managed to sit down and do a couple of things, but then it became very obvious that this was not going to um, clear. This bout was there to stay. So I was driven to the uh, um, doctors who gave me, I'm going to have to um, tell you what they are, I don't think it will come up, Cinerazine, Cinerazine are the tablets they gave me, oh dear, I've just drunk a cup of tea, it's going down the wrong way, Cinerazine, not sure that that will show up there, so that's what they gave me, um, to help with the nausea because I was feeling very sick and that had been a bit of a sign, I woke up feeling a bit nauseous in bed. So, as well as the dizziness, when you lie down, if you turn over, it's like you've got a washing machine going on, your head 
just does all this, it's, yeah, that sort of, and you can feel it going and you have to just sort of lie there and wait for the head to sort itself out. So ev that's every time you turn in the bed, it just was like, that, anyway, you got the gist. Then um, when I wake up in the morning, um, you can't actually open your eyes to begin with, so it's like, oh, it, you have to just sit there wait, with your eyes closed, waiting until your body's actually ready for that transition from lying to sitting. Um, and then everything starts to spin. And um, whenever I go from any of those transitions from sitting to standing or from standing back to sitting, my body starts to shake and I start to get all these tremors which I can feel and it takes a long while for them to calm down. I also get these pulsating headaches around there which just at the beginning are terribly, terribly painful and make life hell. Hell, yes indeed. Anyway, um, I've had three weeks of it. I've tried this in sort of about the third week to sort of venture up to get up and do something. I managed to fall over. My husband caught me several times. Um, there are lots of pointy edges in the kitchen. You know, it's I'm a danger to myself. I've now got my... Um, Gandalf stick. I'm getting a bit of a name for myself. They call me Gandalf or Gandhi because I now walk around with this stick um, just to stop me from falling falling over um, and just to help me along my way. It's uh, it's a sad state of affairs. You know, I'm I'm not that old and yet I'm looking like I'm an OAP before my time but anyway so I'm f you can't do anything with labyrinthitis which is what's so frustrating you can't you have to just sit you have to just lie you can't I have it was told rest is the answer um, and I suppose rest has been the answer um, it's been depressing I've got quite low at times thankfully again I'm at the other end I haven't got up and out of bed I haven't been out of the house how miserable am I? Um, I can't even have a drink, even though I feel like I'd be because everything says don't drink because of the tablets you're on. This week I went back to the doctor. They've given me these Stematil. Stematil tablets. Stematil. Um, I don't know why I said it in that accent. Stematil. Yeah, so whether Stematil um, is the started to working now or whether it's just that I've now had three weeks of this virus so I'm beginning to feel better anyway. I am finally beginning to feel human. I can walk without falling over. I can walk actually um, small distances without my Gandhi uh, stick. So uh, things are hopefully beginning to look up. But I thought I'd just share this experience with you. It's not usually, it's not one of my light-hearted um, vlogs but um, I just thought it might be useful for anybody who has um, suffered from labyrinthitis or is beginning to suffer from labyrinthitis and wonders what it's like. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog um, and thank you for following me um, and speak to you soon.